What's up guys, welcome back once again to the reviews. Today I've got another cooler for you, again an AIO cooler, another 360, and this one's from Be Quiet, this is the Silent Loop 2, and this is an ARGB pump block, uh, so let's get into it and have a look. Right, so as I mentioned in the intro, this is the Silent Loop 2 from Be Quiet, it's a 360mm AIO, uh, they did do it in a 240 and a 280 as well I believe. Um, so let's just have a look at what we get. This comes with three times uh, Silent Wings 3 PWM high speed fans running up, up to 2200 RPM, standard uh, 120mm fan size, and uh, like I say, PWM connection. Uh, it's got ARGB on the pump block, it's uh, a high density stack of fins on the cold plate, which will be copper and probably nickel coated. It's a standard aluminium radiator with a fill port so it can actually be topped up and like I say we get the Silent Wings 3 fans. So first of all let's take a quick look at the fan itself. In true Be Quiet fashion it's an absolute solidly built fan. Uh, nice and heavy, no hub wobble at all, vibration mounts in the corners and as I said before standard PWM 4 pin connection for uh, PWM control and yeah it's really solidly built with the fan blade design that you see on all um, be quiet fans yeah so that's absolutely brilliant and then let's take a look at the, the uh, cooler itself like I say 360 mil aluminium radiator with a fill port up here and um, so you can actually top it up um, when it loses uh, fluid over time and you've got your pump block here which has ARGB around the outside here there's not ARGB on the fans um, but I might put some light wings on it at some point and um, that's got a standard uh, pump control uh, three pin on it and it also has a standard three pin five volt ARGB header with a nickel plated copper block and I believe this uses a standard Acertec design um, for the pump itself. Um, so yeah that's pretty much the uh, the cooler, I'll just mention the cables, uh, the tubes sorry, they're nicely sort of sleeved and braided, they look absolutely lovely. Um, like I say with all Be Quiet stuff it's generally really good quality, it feels uh, really well built. Um, so let's uh, get it installed and uh, we'll do some testing and uh, see how it performs. So there we have my review of the Be Quiet Silent Loop 360 AIO from Be Quiet. Again, massive thank you to Be Quiet for sending this over for review. And straight away, it's another win for Be Quiet. Um, I've had quite a few products from Be Quiet re um, over the past couple of years, and um, I've been impressed with every single one, and this is no exception whatsoever. Um, the quality of the product, the quality of the fans, quality of the radiator, quality of the pump, um, the RGB effect on the pump itself, all absolutely brilliant. Even the tubing on it looks absolutely amazing. Um, installation's absolute, an absolute breeze. Um, it uses the standard AM4 uh, back plate, um, so it makes it really easy installing on that. And it's, this is even with building it inside the case with the PC already built. Makes it really, really easy, no problems whatsoever. And I believe if it uses that back plate, actually makes it AM5 compatible. Please don't quote me on that, but I believe it does. Uh, you'll have to check with Be Quiet themselves to make sure. Um, but yeah, there is that. Anyway, let's get to the uh, the performance. Uh, like I said, it is a win for Be Quiet. The performance of this is absolutely brilliant. Um, I can't I can't fault it in the slightest. Um, so we'll go through my usual tests on my 5900X left with PBO on to automatically boost where it needs to. Um, so first of all, we did a five minute Cinebench R23 run. And the results I got were, we had a high of 61 and an average of 57, um, which is absolutely brilliant. Um, all core, 12 cores all running around 4.125, sometimes boosting up to 4.2, and in between runs boosting up to 4.6. But then coming back down again, it seems to be sort of a pattern. Cinebench only goes to around 4.1, 4.2. I'm not sure why that is, but that's the way it seems. But the temperature results are absolutely brilliant. Then we moved on to Unigen Superposition at 1080p Extreme to put a bit of load onto the CPU and to be honest with you, the CPU didn't really do a lot in this anyway so um, it's no wonder that the, the temperatures were so low but they were very very low. Um, we were looking at a high of 62 and an average of 43 and the te throughout the test it was running actually under 40 for most of it that's why the average is so low compared to the maximum the maximum was pretty much the spike at when the uh, benchmark loaded um, so again fantastic uh, temperature results uh, the idle is around 36 35 something like that on this and then last and uh, lastly i used shadow of the tomb raider in 1440p 5140 by 1440 whatever this monitor is um unfortunately like i said before i can't 
for some reason I can't do 1080p on this monitor since upgrading to Windows 11 it won't let me do it so I've had to do it at 1440p ultra wide settings um, but I've done it at extreme and just to see a sort of more real world uh, example of how this performs and we're looking at again at break temperatures uh, a maximum of 60 only 60 and an average of 54 with the test running in low 40s to high to mid 40s for most of it uh, and pulling like over 200 frames per second for most of it and let me talk about uh, boost clocks um, through Unigen superposition and Shadow the Tomb Raider it was boosting around 4.6 for a lot of it uh, at times getting up to 4.95 gigahertz and 4.8 gigahertz um, throughout the test so obviously this with being such good coolers allowing the CPU to boost as high as it possibly can um, so 4.95 out of 5900x obviously not all core on single cores but on quite a few of the cores it was doing this um, so yeah that's uh, absolutely fantastic results um, any cons with this at all to be honest with you no um, the only say, thing I'd say is do an RGB version I mean is in put so put the light wings on it um, just to give it a full RGB version. I know they've done it with a pure loop for their anniversary edition, and I don't think they are doing it with this one, but it would be nice to see uh, RGB fans on this as well. And I actually might put some on this in the end to see just how well it performs with that and how good it looks, because I think it looks amazing. But the RGB on the pump as it stands looks absolutely lovely, uh, sort of like a line that goes around the square of the, the Be Quiet symbol, and looks brilliant. Um, there's not really much more to say about that guys, um, I hope you uh, find this video interesting, um, if you did please don't forget to subscribe, like, uh, leave me some comments in the comments section below, if you didn't like the video please leave a dislike, if you want to let me know why and uh, I'll sort of see if I can alter that for future videos, um, but please uh, if you do subscribe please uh, go watch some of my other content, like I said I've done quite a lot of Be Quiet stuff, a lot of coolers, keyboards, mice, things like that. Uh, please don't uh, forget to go and have a look at those. It all helps me out and I thank you guys in advance. And uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next video. So see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.